Sadiq Usman is a gifted nine-year-old boy whose dream is to become an engineer someday. He loves to make toys out of cellophane and paper trash to play with his friends. About seven years ago, Boko Haram attacked the village where he lives with his parents. His mother, Margaret John, was three months old pregnant when she, her husband and her five children fled their hometown in Michika local government area of Adamawa State to Abuja, the federal capital territory. Uh, well, how you marry for village? Understand? Now, because of the Boko Haram issue, where you can't run, come here. You can't tell me, I can come Abuja. The time where I asked himself, I can't tell him, say, this Abuja house they do. He say, you will mm. run for your life, but you run for Abuja house. I can't tell him, say, no, we say, I will go there, go and stay to suffer the place where I know me. If you know, if you call me with my children, I will go there. Say, no, what happened? So, now I can't come. So since I come, I can't see how the thing be. During that time, Margaret's husband would mostly beat her and not provide food for the family, she told the ICIR. Ma, you, you can't change you can't, the character when you show me. If Sena so in the show me for that village, you know, can't they like this. This street is where I born them. Not be saying now for here, now for that village. That my picking there three months before that I walk around the show start. Now I can't run with that. If I can't see the suffering is too much, I can't for myself. Now I can't stop going for that place. So all this way they do me now. Because now through him, I come this Abuja. I don't know anybody. So he can't change his mind. You no know, take care of for us. God can they help us. We can't deal with the people when no the area. One, then when they give us more, more advice, we can they manage ourselves. There were at least five IDP camps in Abuja as of 2014 when they arrived. She settled in Durumi IDP camp, which is located at Gariki Area 1 and houses about 2,500 IDPs. The IDPs live in tents made of cellophane with no good toilets and access to portable water. Just like the other camps, the Durumi camp has no school. Or health facility. About a half of the population in this camp are children and less than one third of the children go to school. However, a few non-governmental organizations enroll some of the children at the camp in nearby schools, but Sadiq and his sisters were not lucky to be among them. Without educational activities to engage the minds of the youth, drug abuse has become a pastime in the IDP camps, a woman leader at the camp says. I said before, those children that are not going to school, now we have a 18 years old, 20 years, 25 years, 15 years. If they didn't go to school, they just go around, hang themselves around, make with bad, bad friends, and they are starting taking drugs anyhow. Before you know, their son don't collapse. What is this? I asked, I tell them, they are asking me like you knew that you came. What is the challenge? As I said, made the, even the vocational center, I made the two college, just good. Just teenagers that are that, that, that growing. So that they make themselves busy for that side. If they are not going to school, they will get hung up. Okay. No. The only primary school built for the refugees by the members of the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, has stopped functioning since 2017. Leyatu Ayuba, the woman leader of the camp, was the first to arrive at the IDP camp in 2011. She lost her husband, a police officer, to the Boko Haram insurgency. Just like many IDPs in the camp, she was displaced from her village by the Boko Haram in Goza, local government area of Borono State. She believes that having a functioning school or a well-equipped educational facilities around the camp would help empower the youth in the area and reduce juvenile delinquency. And it's stopping me. That is why I'm telling you that the youth, they are just walking around and they are with their bad, bad friends. You understand? They put them inside anything. They put their, even this drugs abuse. Plenty they are in the camp. You will see them, they just turn their head. They put, uh, what is they call? They dice their head. They do like the uh, Bob Mali. Uh, anyhow, they are just doing this as them. For our place, we don't know this kind of this thing. It's in Abuja because of the Boko Haram issue. That's why all the teenagers, all the youth now, they are just they are running like a mad. Even, even the day before yesterday, we took one boy to our place because of this drugs abuse. We just turned him like a mad. You understand? So he affects also. Even our children die in this drugs abuse. Before you know, you can see people die. 
is taking drugs like this. All these things, our, even our ladies, all these things is affecting. While battling to keep her hope alive amidst the uncertainty around Sadiq's stream, Margaret looks forward to the day she leaves the internally displaced camp to any place where she could do more to nurture her children's stream. If the ID did not get, I need to go strong to find what I will bring for my children. Now I have my two daughters. One, she go right to work this year. The second one, now she is their house now because of the third. third she do third time and not pay school fees for her. The bachelor they live now. Sometimes it's rain for now, so we go stay together with my children, arrange our care one side. If I say I want to go back to village, the house in no day. And only my mother there for that village. She spoke around carrying my mother picking. She no get she no get her own sense now. Her problem don't pass her own power. So now I said to better make her stay here. If God help me, this is my children. If we didn't grow up, then we will help me. And I they manage myself. They go small, small work. I they come back sometime. They work no day. We go stay with a human leader. And so God to help us. They provide for us. And so I go away. I have six children. Thank you.